Hey my friends, welcome back to Vlogmas day number two and my Christmas decor home tour. Today's home tour is gonna to be a little different than I usually do. I usually just go through with music. I don't really talk. I just kind of do a tour, but I haven't done a Christmas clean and decorate. I haven't, um, I have some kind of some different decor than I've had in years past, some things. And so I wanted to, I thought it would be fun to walk through and just tell you a few things that I got that are new or things that I made and just do a little different this year. I don't usually do it this way, but that's the way I'm gonna do it this year. So I'm not gonna show you my porch because that will be in my final porch reveal video. That will be that will also show you my Christmas decorations on my porch. So I'm just gonna take you on the inside. I'm gonna show you the main living areas. And I hope that you enjoy it. If you have any questions about where anything came from, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll try to let you know if I can remember where it came from or if I made it or whatever. But I hope that you enjoy this and I will get into the tour. Okay, so I'm gonna start when you would walk into the front door. It is night now, so that is just when I got around to filming it, but I do think it kind of makes it cozy, you know, at night with the lights and everything. So at the end of this video, I am gonna turn off all the lights and let you see what it looks like with just the Christmas lights on. So in here in the living room, I have my little dogs. <laughs> this is their favorite place to lay. So I just have a couple pillows from the Target Dollar Spot. Got those a few years ago. I've seen them all over YouTube. And those are the only things I added to the couch this year for Christmas. And then I have this buffalo plaid little, I guess it's a placemat. I've had it for a long time. And I used to have a ton of buffalo plaid. I used to have stockings, a tree skirt, everything was buffalo plaid, black and red. But this year I went a little different, so you'll see in a second. But I did keep that because I do still like the buffalo plaid. I just like to add a little bit more green and white, some brighter colors maybe. This is just a wreath that I got a few years ago at Home Goods, and I just added a little sparkly bow to it. Just very simple. I used to have a lot on this wall, but now I just have this one picture. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep the decor the way it is on the walls. I don't have very much right now, and I usually like a lot more, but for now, that's what I have. And there's my sweet Claire. She's hanging out on my recliner. I would have fixed the pillow and the blanket, but she was too comfy, and I didn't wanna disturb her, so. Um, yeah, I just have this throw I got at Walmart. It is super, super soft. I got it last year for like $5, and it is amazingly soft. I love it, so I keep it on my chair so I can use it. It's my sweet girl. And this is just a pillow that I got at Goodwill a few years ago. It's so cute, and I like to keep it in my recliner. Then over here is our TV and our little fireplace combo entertainment center. And I kept it really simple this year. I've done all kinds of things up here on this little shelf, which I kind of use as a mantle. And this year, I just really wanted to keep it simple. I wanted it to kind of be bright, so I added a few little red berries. I got these at the craft store, AC Moore, a few years ago. They're just beautiful, and I used them in my gingerbread tree in my kitchen a couple years ago, and I just love them. I, don't, I just am really drawn to the red and white this year. I think it's beautiful. So I replaced my stockings with these beautiful red ones I got at Hobby Lobby. So everything Christmas is 50% off. So these were less than $6 a stocking. 
And since we've added a few more kids to our family, two of our kids got married, so we have a lot of stockings. So I wanted them all to match, and so I got these at Hobby Lobby, and then I picked up these little wooden tags from Hobby Lobby as well, and then I used my Cricut, and I just put each of our names on them and tied them with twine around one of the little pom-poms, and I think they're adorable. And then here's my tree. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen my tree headed up for a few weeks, but I did get this cute um, woven basket. That's Chloe. <laughs> we, we do have a lot of animals. <laughs> that woven basket tree skirt, I really love it. I've been wanting one for a couple years and I was so happy to find one at Target this year. And then our tree is just simple and it's a lot of sentimental ornaments we've collected through the years, some really special ones. So we don't have a theme, it's just a hodgepodge of Lots of family memories, just the way I want it. Okay, so moving on into the dining room. It is connected to my living room. In case you are a new follower, I do have a two bedroom, one bath, 1100 square foot house. And we do have a basement though, a full basement, and it is partially finished. So we have some extra space down there. But for the upstairs, that's what we have. And we have one child living at home. We do have four total children, three are grown, but we are down to one living at home, so. It's a little bit different this year than normal years. It's the first year we've only had one living at home, but we do have lots and lots of fur babies. <laughs> we have three cats and two dogs. So this is our dining room, which I recently, I guess a few months ago, redid. We do have a round table, but we added that leaf for Thanksgiving, and I think I'm just gonna leave it in for the holidays because we'll have people over. We have family in town. And so I think I'm just going to leave it up and then after the holidays I'll take the leaf out. But I actually really like it with the leaf in it. This table and chairs was a Facebook marketplace find and I refinished them and I'm in love with them. They fit the space so much better than our older table. I bought this um, runner a few years ago I think at TJ Maxx and it's not my favorite and I looked this year and couldn't find one I really liked so I just am using it. If I could find a really pretty red and white one I might pick that up but we don't have a home goods here. If we did, I'd be looking there because I know they usually have a lot. And that's just a cranberry candle that my mom gave me for my birthday. It smells so good. And then this is just a little pitcher and a tray that I got at the at-home store and I added some faux holly berries. Holly and holly berries. <laughs> we have a holly berry tree in our backyard. Those leaves are sharp. And then this is just our kind of our wedding gallery wall. Up here on the chandelier, I added this really pretty greenery I got at Walmart. Um, I would like to maybe add some red balls hanging down or something. I may do that. I've always wanted a chandelier that I could decorate like this. I would love some fur leaves, or I don't know, what would you call it? Fur or evergreen to drape over it, but I couldn't find any this year. I'm going to keep my eye out next year. And also, we need to move this light over a little bit. Some of you were telling me you can put a hook and move it over so it's centered over your table, so I'm gonna have Marion do that. And over here, this is just a little table my husband built me, and I didn't put too much over here, just these little trees I got from Target a few years ago, and I got these little buckets this year from 
Hobby Lobby. Also that little riser is from Hobby Lobby. And I just added those, just a simple little decoration over here, not too much. I like to decorate with family photos, obviously. <laughs> And then over here, when I redid my dining room this year, I also picked up this adorable little hutch off of Facebook Marketplace, and I also refinished it. And it is so fun to decorate for holidays, and I was so excited to decorate for Christmas. So I'll have to show you everything I did here. In this corner over here, I do have a bunch of stuff. We are redoing our porch, so there's a bunch of stuff back there, and I put a little plant, uh, tree there to try and hide that. But this tree is actually going to go out on the porch whenever I do decorate it for Christmas. But it's just hiding the stuff right now. And there's my Chloe girl. So I always like to little put, put a little rag here, a little towel, hand towel. That's just from Hobby Lobby, a little gingerbread. I did have a gingerbread themed kitchen a few years ago. And I try to keep that same theme, but we have redone my kitchen since then. So we don't have room to put my little tree but I have spread out my gingerbread decor into my hutch and into my kitchen this year so this was super fun something I have looked forward to doing for a long time I just bought that little chalkboard I think at Target dollar spot and I made that sign with my Cricut so that we can count down till Christmas and then I just have some hand towels and a pretty white pitcher I got from Goodwill and up here I'll open the doors so I can show you what is inside we have to keep the doors shut just so that they don't get hit but I put some scrapbook paper along the back I did that in the fall for my fall decor and I just kept it for Christmas so it is kind of shadowy the light is behind me so I'm gonna try my best to keep the shadows off but that's a beautiful wooden star that I got last year on our 25th wedding anniversary trip to Gatlinburg Tennessee we bought that um, at a little gift shop there and I love it and I want to keep it put it out for July 4th too I think it's adorable and I just put scrapbook paper on the back of it to just I just taped it on there so I can take it off when I want to but I just thought it was so it was so cute the red and white gingham just is so perfect for a gingerbread theme and then I have a few rags Christmas rags I just put in this little basket that I got at Hobby Lobby that's a little wooden tree I've had forever and then a little green one I got this year I think I got them both at the Target dollar spot and then a little white pitcher with some greenery and some more of those red balls that I put up on my shelf above my TV. And then up on the top, I have this adorable sign. It's got red and white gingham on the side. It is so cute. And I just got this yesterday. One of my sweet subscribers sent that to me. I just want to bake stuff and watch Christmas movies all day. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> is that not the cutest? Perfect for my gingerbread theme. So that, I had a hard time putting that in here. I didn't know where I wanted to put it because I wanted to put it in several different places, but this is where it ended up. And then that beautiful house, I got that at Walmart a few years ago. And then I just put my rolling pin in here. I thought it was really cute. And then over here is one of those little wooden houses from Dollar Tree. And I just bought the same red and white gingham scrapbook paper that I put in my star. And I just cut it and put it in the back of it and I can change it out for the seasons. I didn't glue it or anything. And then I put one of my little gingerbread ornaments in it and I think it's so cute. And then this little cloche and tray, I got this at um, Home Goods a few years ago and I just added some little wreaths inside those little tar Target dollar spot wreaths just to add a little greenery inside of it. It's pretty simple but I think it's adorable. And then up here at the top is some of these Dollar Tree Christmas trees and I took two and um, put them together so each one is two trees and I just made it look a little more full and then I just strung some colored lights I think the colored lights go really cute with the gingerbread theme as well and then a couple candlesticks with some red candles and then just some red berries wrapped around them
So now I'm going to take you into my bathroom because this year I actually decorated my bathroom. It's kind of unusual for me, but I thought it would be fun this year. I just got a few things, very inexpensive, and just adding a few little pops of red just really makes it feel festive in here. So I got this um, shower curtain at Walmart this year. They had a bunch of them for $5 and it kind of convinced me to do it just for $5. I thought you can't really, that's not that much. And it it's something I've always wanted to do was decorate my bathroom and have a Christmas shower curtain. So it's really cute. Just got red trucks. I love the red trucks and some Christmas trees. So I added a few other little red truck decor in here. This is a sign I got from Hobby Lobby last year, I believe. And then I got this little red truck soap dispenser from Hobby Lobby also. And I think it was $8, but it was half off. So I only paid like $4 for it. And the disposable bottles with the hand soap, they're like $10 at Hobby Lobby. So this is something I can reuse every year. And it is adorable and matches the shower curtain perfectly. And then down here, first of all, I've got Oliver. He's following me. <laughs> he likes the rug. This is just a, actually it is a bath mat. I've used it as a kitchen mat, but I can't remember where I got this a couple years ago. It was very inexpensive and it's perfect for in here. You're perfect too, Ollie, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> and then over here, I just added a little Christmassy hand towel for us to dry our hands on just to tie in the red. And then there's some greenery on the door. And I really think it's adorable and super simple, but very festive. Okay, so the last room I'm going to show you, last but not least, is my kitchen. And I do have some little helpers with me. So if you've been with me for a while, you know that I did do the gingerbread theme in my kitchen. So, like I said, this year I don't have the room to put the tree. Again, I've tried to figure out where I could put it. And I just, I can't figure out a good place where it's not going to be in the way. So I just spread out my gingerbread decor between the hutch and in here and... I think it's adorable. I'll show you just like an overview and then I'll go and show you where everything came from. I actually really like this side over here. If you know, if you've been around, you know that these shelves, I kind of have a love hate relationship with them, <laughs> but I really like the way that this turned out this time. So for starters, I thought it'd be fun to add some colored lights in here. <laughs> so I just tacked these up along the wall and it just gives it a fun festive I don't know. Look, I think that the colored lights bring back memories from my childhood. We always had colored lights and I just think they're so perfect for Christmas. They just say Christmas to me. I have this DW Home Candle Apple Honey Butter and it smells, I've been saving it for Christmas because it smells just like Christmas. And it's such a beautiful glass jar. And I got some more red and white gingham. I love the hand towel. I got these at goodness TJ Maxx maybe I'm not sure recently I picked these up but you can find Christmas hand towels so many places but I loved the red and white gingham and then I got this little peppermint tree let me see where did I get this it doesn't say I think I got this at either the Christmas tree shop or the at-home store I've had it for a few years but it is so cute for for the gingerbread kitchen my little spice shelf and then over here, since I have my KitchenAid this year, I decided to just keep that on the counter in the uh, corner because I will use that this Christmas season. And then I just made this little, I guess you call it, I guess you call it a vignette, maybe? <laughs> um, I think it's so cute. I found this little sign at Hobby Lobby this year, Baking Spirits Bright, and I thought it was cute. I try to grab a few things each year, a few new things to add to my collection. Sorry, my dogs are being so loud. <laughs> um, this is just a candy dish. I got it at Goodwill a couple years ago. It was like four or five dollars. It's so cute. And then my cookie jar, I just added the bow that I had on top of my gingerbread tree and one of my ornaments that I think is so realistic looking, like a little cookie. And then this is just two of those dollar store trees put together. And I think that's such a cute little 
it's not too uh, in the way on the counter. I don't want it to be too much in my way where I'm cooking. So it's all neatly put away in that little tray. One thing that I do not have yet is a Christmas soap dispenser for my sink and also a kitchen mat for the floor that's Christmassy. I want to find both of those. I just haven't found something that I like. So eventually I will add those. And then I have this, just some two picks that I put together and put a bow on them. I actually um, did this last year and I just reused it again. I think it's so pretty. This is just a window cling in case you're wondering. You, I got it at Home Depot and it just clings to your window and you can pull it off. It's not real leaded glass, but it is beautiful. I got that idea from Carrie Lynn. <laughs> And then over here, just a candy cane paper towel holder that a friend gave me a few years ago, and I pull it out every year. It's so cute and festive. And then I kind of kept this pretty simple over here, just to have room to cook and things like that. And then I have my grandma's old Avon advent calendar. A lot of people ask about this or say that they have the same one. I think this was pretty popular back in the day. But I love it. I love that it was my grandma's. It used to have a little mouse that you would switch put in the days of the week but or days of the month but we lost that many years ago so I just have this little piece of candy that we use and that will be added so when you're seeing this it's the second but <laughs> that will be moved each day Jackson likes to move it in the mornings and then I have a couple more little shelves over here that I just like to put seasonal decor on they kind of frustrate me sometimes but <laughs> I think it's pretty cute that's a little tree um, in that Merry Christmas container I got at the Target dollar spot this year and this is another one of those Dollar Tree houses that I added the scrapbook paper to and then I just put a little gingerbread cookie cutter inside and I think it's so cute and super inexpensive and then this is a jar that I've had for a while and I just added these little miniature um, baking uh, utensils I guess baking things I got these in a set one time at AC Moore and I used them on my tree but I thought they'd be really cute inside of that this year with a couple candy canes. And then this was from Target Dollar Spot, I think last year or the year before that. Just a little sign that is really cute. Okay, on this side I have another cute little hand towel. I love the red, white, and green. I think that's my favorite color combo for Christmas, red, white, and green. And then of course the gingerbread street sign from Hobby Lobby. And then up here I got this sign recently at TJ Maxx and then a little cupcake stand or candle stand I got from Hobby Lobby a while back and then this is so cute it's a little um, I don't know like a little gingerbread house and I think I paid a dollar 98 for that one and then a dollar 98 for this one at Goodwill a while back and they actually have little you can um, they have lights inside you can put batteries in and they would light up I haven't put batteries in them but I thought they would be so cute for my gingerbread kitchen and $2 each was a steal and they're in perfect condition. And then I have another one of these Dollar Tree houses and this is a Christmas tree cookie that I just put inside of that. And up here on the top shelf, I actually like how this looks. <laughs> I usually don't, I usually can't get it right, but I just added a bowl and I have a couple wooden cutting boards back there and some greenery and then I got these cute copper mugs from dollar from the Target dollar spot I thought they'd be perfect for hot chocolate this year but I'm not doing a hot cocoa bar because I'm not having sugar and so I don't know we may use them still but for right now they're for decor and I just have these cute little gingerbread boy and girl that I stuck inside with a couple of those red berries and some candy canes and that's one of my favorite spots
Okay, so now I'm gonna go through and turn off all the lights and just show you what it looks like with just the Christmas lights on. Okay, that is it for this Christmas decor home tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you are a regular subscriber, you've already seen my house many times, but now you got to see it all dressed up for Christmas. I hope that this light gave you the motivation or the inspiration that you needed to get your home decorated if you haven't already. And if you're not already subscribed, if you're a new viewer, I would love to have you stick around and click that subscribe button. I am doing Vlogmas this year, so I'll be posting Monday through Friday for the entire month of December, and I would love to have you stick around. We have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun things coming up a lot of a lot of things I want to share with you all the Christmas chaos and craziness it's so much fun and these videos are so much fun to look back on so if you would like to be part of my YouTube family just click the subscribe button make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it if this is the kind of video that you enjoy and I want to leave you with a beautiful scripture verse and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye